Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. Today's video is going to be about that new version of MX Linux 23.1. Now I did a fresh install. Uh, I understand, I guess you can do an upgrade there, but I decided to do a fresh install to uh, just get the experience for how fast it installed and I was quite impressed. Five minutes on a solid state drive. I also chose the hibernate function. So today's video is not going to be about a tour on 23.1. I'm going to talk about power keys because uh, a lot of uh, folks like to uh, have different ways to shut down their system, whether it's semi-automated or just quickly shut it down. So this icon here represents one of those. I'll show you how to make one of these. This will power down the system instantaneously, no questions asked. You have the multifunction key. I'll show you how to activate um, the 30 second shutdown restart keys in this menu. And in the regular MX menu, I'll uh, throw on two more keys with 60 second shutdown and restart. Stuff like that. So Linux for seniors. If you see this logo in the corner, then you're on my official Linux for seniors side. If you don't see that, then you're watching that on somebody else's channel. But if you do see that logo, you can click to subscribe, not here. And for you folks that are already subscribers, thank you and welcome back. Linux for Seniors is uh, a channel I created with a little bit less tech jargon than some folks use. And uh, I try to create videos to uh, sometimes over explain things, but in general, I try to make uh, videos for new users, but I do also have materials for medium to advanced material. I have over 240 videos on my current channel. I have a, I had a previous channel with two, uh, sorry, 450 videos, which is now is discontinued and closed. But more importantly, welcome. I'm going to first just give you standard system info with a quick system info. So um, this is MX 23.1. It was released on October 15th. Today's date is uh, the 20th, so about a week ago. Uses a 6.1 series kernel. This is too small for you, then uh, let me open up terminal. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom first. I'm going to talk about uh, my video resolution. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 at 120 Hertz. I usually film in uh, 1920 by 1080 at 60. But in either case, this also looks very nice in 4K, but I thought I'd spare you the smaller icons. But for you folks that uh, are still running in 460, 460 on your YouTube players, you may want to click that gear symbol and adjust that to 1080. It will look a lot nicer. All right, scrolling up to the top. So MX 23.1 was released again on October 15th, 2023. It's a Debian 12 bookworm. Uses a 6.1 series kernel, and this is their flagship XFCE desktop. I plan on doing one for their Plasma desktop a little bit later, but this is on the flagship XFCE. So I'm going to use Alt and F4. So one more time, don't subscribe up here. Subscribe down here if you see this icon. And if you don't see it, you're watching it on somebody else's channel. Now, let's continue. How do you um, activate some keys? Well, let's do the top one first. Right click, Properties. You have action buttons and session menu. Okay, so just be aware that uh, there is a change. That's what that looks like now. But if you see that, then you have options. Here's the hibernate. And I'm going to activate, shut down, and restart, and close. I just added this key, and now will automatically shut down the system in 30 seconds. Unless I click that or cancel. This will automatically reboot the system. I can go get coffee now, and I should, in 30 seconds, or cancel. If you inadvertently delete this icon, you can right-click, panel, add new. You can drag the icon over, or if you're downstairs, uh, or you can just hit add. Just be aware that sometimes when you do that, they default to this session menu. And they in case that happens to you, right click that properties and turn this on. And it's whatever you have activated will appear on your menu. And you can see that I have lots of options. So again, this is 30 seconds. Right click, properties, right click whatever icon you have here, in this case the MX, commands, 
restart shutdown. These will be 60 second timers. A little bit different. 30 seconds here, 60 seconds here. It performs the same function. And the restart the same. So this one here is a little bit, uh, well, this is one of these when you click it, it shuts down the system, no questions asked. So I'm gonna talk about some cautions now. Save your work before using any power keys of any kind, including especially these. Save your work, open documents, file manager, web browsers, whatever it might be. Right, I'm gonna talk about how these uh, icons are activated by default. So MX installs uh, an option that when you click that, it opens these immediately. That's called single click. When you use icons like that, that can be dangerous because let's say you created one of these and it's sitting right here and you decided to move it down here where I have it or in the corner or wherever. It, and it missed triggers, it powers down the system. See, I can move this without worrying about it right now because I have that turned off. And that option is found by right-clicking desktops under icons. This is default. I don't like this feature when I create these things. This is fine for these things. But since, I am where I, since I'm doing this for the whole desktop, I need to either think about single click or double click. When this is off, it's double click. That's my preferred when I'm creating these things. I also like double click on file managers, but that's for a different reason. So I turned this off because I wanted to create this and not worry about moving this icon around without mistriggering it. Because trust me, this will definitely power down your system. So how do I create one of these? So I'm gonna put this one downstairs, somewhere down in here. All right, so it's a convenient spot. You can put them in it wherever you want on your desktop. Right click, create launcher. What's in a name? Well, you type in whatever name you want to give it. I'm going to call mine P. Comments are optional. The command, so if you are still working in that 460 mode and you haven't changed to 1080, I'm going to have to spell this out for you. Uh, it's sudo space power off, one word. Sudo lowercase space power off, all lowercase. Sudo is super user do. That gives me elevated privileges with this launcher. This is a launcher. This button is, is gonna be a launcher. If you uh, do the no icon, it looks like a gear. I'm gonna delete that on purpose and start from scratch. Right click, create launcher. P. So the command is gonna be sudo power off. Do you want this icon here, this red one? Then click the no icon. You can pick any icon that you want from the system, or you can even bring your own for your own image files. You can see that option there, the second one from the bottom. You can bring in your own icon if you like. Just type in S-H-U-T, and you should have some selections. This is the icon that I used on this one. So I'll use this one for the new one. I just need a name. The command again is sudo space power off and create. Now I can safely move this without mis triggering it because I have single click turned off. Both of these icons do the same job. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about MX23.1 for your uh, users that are not familiar with uh, that. So we'll do the release info first. Again, it was uh, available on October 15th and it's a refresh. As I pointed out earlier, it took me five minutes to install this on a solid state drive, quite impressed. And I uh, also, if you are doing a fresh install, maybe check out the Hibernate. You can also upgrade, but uh, this is, um, I'm mainly making this for new users. All right, DistroWatch, you can find that link on my official Linux for Senior site as a link in the about section. I'm going to get rid of the commercial. So MX Linux is out of Greece and the United States, if you did not know, and uh, it's Debian based. And there's also a reference to AntiX. AntiX also is a different distribution or a, um, when you look at it on DistroWatch is number 14. And uh, it's, you can also see and check there out and you can see their desktops. All right, well, let me click back and back 
and get rid of the commercial again. So um, I have, again, MX Linux is out of Greece in the US. It's Debian based and they do offer three desktops. XFC is their flagship. It's software given on older computers also. Plasma and Fluxbox. They offer a live medium for you folks that are brand new to the Linux world. Um, first of all, I consider this also a beginner's medium and advanced system all at the same time. You can do lots of things with MX. But more importantly, live medium for you folks means you can test drive it. And I do encourage that you do if you're a brand new user to Linux. Go download that image. Try it out on your machine before you install. So where do you get these things? mxlinux.org. Same website I was here earlier. Click the download section. What flavor do you want? The XFC is their flagship. 64-bit, 32-bit, advanced hardware support edition for you fancy new, newer toys for 6.4 series kernel. The standard version uses a 6.1. That's what I'm using today and everything's working. You also have the KDE, Plasma, and two flavors of Fluxbox, 64-bit or 32. I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that and do a recap. So using keys like this, again, pretty simple to actually create, but more importantly, be cautious at the same time. Save your work before using any power keys. You can always make reference to how to activate that 30 second timer and the one for the 60 second. You can just reverse my video. All my videos have timelines and chapters. And thank you for watching Linux for Seniors.